welcome back to my YouTube channel, Arrogance of Idaho. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the results I've been getting with the Air Force Condor in 20 caliber. So I've had this gun out for about two years. Um, I got this gun in 25 caliber, but recently I purchased a 22 caliber Lothar Walter uh, 1 in 16 uh, choke, um, on choke barrel. So this is mainly for slugs, more ideal for slugs and pellets. Um, it does have a faster spin twist to stabilize uh, longer, heavier slugs. So um, I'm going to be showing, showing you guys some of the results that I got from the slugs that I make um, out of this gun. So haven't really done very much testing with it, um, you know, just here and there. Haven't done as much testing as I would like to, but hopefully soon I will be able to do more testing with this. Um, the temperature here in Idaho, it is dropping. Today wasn't the best day to be doing the slug testing, but anyways, I did do it. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the results. I hope this video does help you guys who are interested in buying a Air Force air gun, uh, especially Air Force Condor, Air Force Escape, or stuff like that. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys the results that I got. And hopefully you guys do um, get an idea of how to tune this gun and all the stuff you need to tune a gun to shoot good. Okay, so the groups that I took in today's video were shot at um, 50 yards with a 10 to 50 mile an hour wind. Um, so, you know, not the best day to be making videos. I will be showing some of that footage here so you guys uh, see the, the weather, how it was down there. And hopefully you guys get a better idea of why the groups may be like this. Um, so, I did shoot two groups with the same slugs. Um, you know, I did do a five-shot group here and a five-shot group here with the same slugs. Uh, my first groups were always bad. Um, you know, the velocity was a 900 to 920. My second group, the velocity was a 950, 960. And the, the reason the velocity was different with my first and second group is, um, you know, the first shots would, you know, be pretty slow because the valve would fight the valve. Um, you know, after those five shots, the, the valve would stay open a little bit longer. So I would get a faster speed, uh, 950 to 960 feet per second with some of the slugs. So that, that is where they would perform the best. So in the groups that I'm, I'm about to show you, the second groups were always better than the first groups because we were having a faster velocity, uh, maybe even more consistency and a velocity. And you know, the harmonics were a little bit better maybe. So let me show you guys the groups and let me know what you guys think about these groups. They're not very impressive, but um, it is testing and developing. So yep, this, let's look at the groups. Okay, so we do have some 31 grains, 32, 32, um, 33, 33, 34, and 34. So let's start with the first ones, the lighter weight stuff. So 31 grains, HP3. Uh, this would be my first group. Not bad. It's pretty good, pretty good. My second group, you know, that's also pretty good as well. That's that's a good select there. Um, you know, 31 grains, uh, you know, 920 to 960. Um, this would be my other group here. Same slugs here. Don't really know the velocity, but that is pretty damn good at 50 yards. Um, let's go with my second group here. Uh, so 32 grains, HP3. Um, first group, not very impressive. You know, 910, 920 feet per second, not very good. Second group here, much better than the first group, in my opinion. Uh, you know, 950 to 960 as well. Um, I believe this might have one of these were my first group not 100 percent sure which one it was i think it was this one this was my first group and this will be my second group but um yeah you know not very impressive this one is it's okay this is a five shot group at 50 much better uh we're looking about about an inch you know under an inch maybe and then here we have some other slugs here um the temperature did start to drop so my speed also dropped First shot, second, third, fourth, and then the stars, the slug started to uh, group much better on there, and you guys can see. 33 grains, here's my first group, you know, uh, about an inch, you know, inch at 50. My second group, faster velocity, um, the valve would stay open a little bit longer. Much, much, much better group here. Same slugs, different velocities, second group, always better. Um, you know, here we have some 34 grain HP2s. Um, you know, with these, I don't know which one was my first group, either this one, you know, that's, that's about an inch, under an inch there, the wind, you know, you can see that, one of them was down here, 
other group was down here mm, not very impressive both groups but you know we'll take it um 34 grains hp3 first group here you know that's not very impressive you know 900 to 920 feet per second we were getting a faster speed here so we're getting a much better velocity and uh group you know same same slugs but just different velocities on there so yep you know those, those are some of the groups that i got so as you guys can see my second groups were always better than the first groups like i said um you know i would always i would fill the gun to the spot that i thought it was good so about 2800 psi um you know five shots after that i would be around 2600 psi where the valve would stay open a little bit longer um allowing for the gun to shoot the slugs faster um giving them a better uh, velocity and harmonics would change obviously uh, the second groups were always better. Um, the 31s and 33 grains did really good. So I will, I will be doing more testing with those slugs. I'll try to get the speed um, a little bit faster and also try to get it more consistent so I can get more shots at that speed. Um, so yeah, guys, as you guys can see, all this does play into account. You know, the same slugs will shoot different at different velocities. You guys, you've seen that with the results that I showed you. So it's all about tuning your gun to shoot better. Um, and yeah, um, I did take another gun to the shooting range, which would be the, which would be the Air Force Scape uh, 22 caliber. This has a uh, 26 and a half inch barrel, uh, polygonal, um, one in 16 as well. This barrel here was very finicky. It didn't like any of the slugs that I shot today out of it. Um, you know, I was ready to head out and I decided to take out take out some of the barman knockers to see if they would shoot good out of this gun. Um, all the slugs didn't really shoot well until I got to the 40 grain slugs. Once I took out the 40 grain barman knockers, the groups were much better than I was getting before. Before I was getting about two inches at, at uh, like 30 yards, so not good at all. I got to the 40 grain barman knockers, the groups did get much better, much more smaller. So I'm like, okay, let me look for my uh, 38s and 34 grains that I make myself. The groups did shoot much better. So let me show you guys some of the results as well. Um, yeah, this barrel does not like lightweight slugs. It only likes super heavy slugs. So 38s and 40 grains. So we'll be doing more testing with that barrel. Um, we'll be modifying the Air Force Escape to see if we can get more speed out of it. Um, I doubt it since now the weather has changed. It's going to be harder to make more power with the air gun since the weather has changed. So yeah, let me show you guys some of the results that I got with the Air Force Escape. And yeah. Okay guys, so I wrote, I wrote down the weights on here. So we have a 38 HP2. That would be this group here. Not bad. You know, that is much better than I was getting before. Before I was getting about, you know, 2 inch group at 30 yards. Not very good. You know, these are 30... 8 range HP3s. You know, that's that's better than I was getting before. Um, 40 grains HP2s, not bad, not bad. And then 40 grains HP3s would be here. Those are really good, in my opinion. You know, that's under an inch. It is 30, 25 to 30 yards, but, um, you know, it gives me an idea of what may shoot good out of this gun. So, yeah. Okay, so I know that all the groups that I showed you are not really impressive. Um, you know, this is testing and develop, development and also tuning your gun as well. The only impressive groups that you guys really seen were the um, 31 grains and also the 33 grains did pretty good. Other than, other than that, you know, they're, you know, they're okay. Um, like I said, the other gun, the Air Force Escape 20 caliber barrel, didn't like any any slug that I shot through that gun before I started shooting the heavier stuff. So, you know, at uh, 30 yards, getting under an inch, you know, that's telling me something. The other slugs, I would get two inches at 30 yards. So, you know, that is kind of where I need to kind of focus. You no know, heavier stuff for this gun. Hope you guys did find this video useful. Um, that is going to be all for today. I do plan on making much more videos on these two air guns and keep on testing my slugs. I will be making you guys more videos and I'll be also bringing, making videos with the FX Impact and 20 caliber as well. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Peace.